So today's session, we will talk about six beat cycles. So all of you are aware of eight beats that you have completed. You have almost completed nine patterns with one tihai. Uh, tihai basically is the ending part. So we have completed with it. And then one, one start we have taken. We have taken a version of one start. So we can have multiple starts to it. Or you can improvise. You can listen to more music or more uh, songs or more tabla beats. Try to improvise. You can try to adapt the sounds. So eight will complete. So eight will finish. Uh, we'll come back after a few few months, you know, once once we all set in with, with uh, you know, this group of, of eight beats, and then we'll come back to it later. So yeah, almost a good good number of variations are given, so we can always improvise more. So next is six beat. Uh, in in Sai Bhajan, uh, the most common beat cycle is eight beat. Okay, eight beat cycle or four beat cycle or sixteen beat cycle. So it's all multiples of four. So eight will take us eight, and the next most common uh, beat cycle is six beat. Okay. A six beat would be a count of the similar, just like one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Similarly, six would be one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six. So take a division of three, three. So one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six. Always remember, just it always come one, two, three, four, five, six. Even in even in tabla or 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 uh, in, in Carnatic, the way they they tee rupa, it's called rupa kathalam in uh, in Carnatic. And don't confuse with Hindustani. Rupa Kathala and Rupa Kathala in Hindustani is different. So Rupa Kathala in Carnatic is six beat. Dadra Thal. Dadra Thal is equivalent for Rupa Kathala. So it's again six beat uh, cycle. So it goes in patterns of three, three, three or six totally. Okay. So today we'll take up some of the versions commonly. Uh, so there, there are there are two types of patterns in six beat. So one they call it as slow six beat and a medium tempo or a fast six beat. So uh, a slow tempo will take. So the first first beat that I'm, that I'm teaching will be for slow six beat. For slow six beat example, versions would be Sai Ram Sai Sham Sai Ram Sai Sham. Then you have Shri Ram Chanda Jai Ram Chanda. Then Shri Kari Kripa Kari. So these are all six beat. So you can analyze it. So it goes in one, two, three, one, two, three, or one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six. So we'll take this. We'll start. Okay. So simple pattern. So one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Simple. Very simple. So it's very simple. It's for slow versions. You can try this. I'm adding. I'm adding. I'm. I'm adding more. I'm. I'm embellishing it. The beats with. So you can, I can, you can add your own variation to it. So I'm, I'm giving you a very plain skeleton of the, the beat cycle. So you can add your own wherever. So, so I'm one, two, three, right? So I'm what I do is one, two. Three. So one, two. I have micro beats in between the second and beat, second and third beat. So one, two, one, two, three. So one, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, one, two, three. So I'm, I'm playing one, two, three. So I'm, I'm, I'm adding two more beats in between. So, I, okay, we'll, we'll, you, I, I think, I hope you can get it. So there's just a small embellishment I'm giving. So you can add whatever, you, wherever you feel extra, you can add. Okay, but keep the, keep the base pattern fixed. Add more to it. So I, like, like you have in, in uh, ragam or something. Sari, sari. So in so sari, gari, gari, gari. Sari, sari, sari. So whatever you have the gamak. So these are you will not tell that sa. You will only sell sari, riga, riga. So actually in between inside it is riga. So it's all that you're telling. Ga. So similarly here also you have small, small, small things in between, which will not be told, but you have to basically listen and try. Okay, try, try, keep trying. It's all about trial and error only. Okay, first beat. One, two, three. Then four, five. So you can use the whole hand or upper, second up, second up part. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. Six. This is the first beat. It's very easy. So uh, I think all of you should uh, basically get this quickly. The second is uh, uh, it has got two and two. So in one side, one cycle of six. So this is a faster. Six beats. So for these kind of budgets, for these uh, beats, will be used for like budgets like 
ಆನಂದ ಸಾಗರ ಮುರಳೀಧರ ಸೊ ಯು ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ದಟ್ ಯು ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಭಜೋ ರಾಜೇ ಗೋವಿಂದ ಭಜೋ ಶ್ಯಾಮ ಗೋಪಾಲ್ ಯು ಕಾಂಟ್ ಪ್ಲೇ ದಿಸ್ ಭಜೋ ರಾಜೇ ಗೋವಿಂದ ಭಜೋ ಶ್ಯಾಮ ಗೋಪಾಲ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಲ್ ನಾಟ್ ಸೂಟ್ ಸೊ ಯು ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಟು ಗೋ ಲಿಟಲ್ ಫಾಸ್ಟರ್ ಸೊ ಯು ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಟು ಪ್ಲೇ ಲಿಟಲ್ ಫಾಸ್ಟರ್ ಬೀಟ್ ಫಾರ್ ದಟ್ ಯು ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಯೂಸ್ ಅ ಸೆಕೆಂಡ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಥರ್ಡ್ ಸೆಕೆಂಡ್ ಥರ್ಡ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಫೋರ್ತ್ ಆಲ್ ಅ ಲಿಟಲ್ ಫಾಸ್ಟ್ the first beat first i have given you is just a skeleton what i that i told skeleton you have to embellish you have to embellish it you have to add little 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 bit that will come only with practice keep trying keep trying wherever you feel you can add i have just given you so so again so in so so 1 2 3 in so 1 1 2 3 i'm just doing 1 2 i'm doing this i'm adding in between stop stop the that that's the way you are english okay we'll come to second 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 listeners 1 2 3 4 5 6 1 2 3 4 5 6 so when you play faster i think you'll hold this for just this beat you can add little i'm adding this at the end the sixth part i'm adding this can do that also you can add that i'm just giving the skeleton i'm just giving the outline of the beat so you can add wherever you feel like adding embellishments you can add okay bhajo raje so this is basically that beat the third one is adding one more up up stroke in between the down and up the first down and the first up in between adding it's out so so we'll do it slowly 1 2 3 4 5 6 1 2 3 4 5 6 1 2 3 4 5 6 so get it on a loop 1 2 3 4 5 6 1 2 3 4 5 6 so again same song bajo raje so first one the second one is like this the third one is i'm using the whole hand whole all five fingers i'm using i'm i'm stroking in this way if you look at it i'm stroking like this i'm giving a small hollow in between my i'm not i'm not i'm not using like this i'm doing this you can do this also this was a very good it gives a nice effect See? i'm using fingers so don't use this like if somebody is playing is not wrong but use fingertips fingertips should be more used and these other part should be supporting the fingertips see i'm using this i'm using fingertips but it's in my my this part this part is it is striking along with the fingertips to support the fingertips so similarly i'm here i'm i'm playing with my fingertips so there's a small hollow if you look at it there's a small hollow and i'm keeping it so i'm ensuring that my finger only this part is getting struck so i'm not using this don't use this part like you will get into this activity it is not wrong but better to use this so you will you will train your hand fingers to be ready to play faster beats okay the th- third is over the fourth fourth is uh, again it's a we'll have two six beats to make it so it go again for fast versions only so this is how it sounds which will slowly okay One, two, three, four, five. Okay, then six gap. Then, then seven. I mean, the, the next next part is I'm, I'm again called as one itself. Okay, one. Then two, three, four, five, six. Again, one, two, three, four, five, six. The one, two, three, four, five, six. Again, one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Do it slowly. Do it slowly. Keep keep adding more speed. You will you will sound like this. This is how it sounds. So this these are all uh, uh, beats meant for six beats. Don't experiment with eight beats. Uh, you can add, but if you have that. you have few i mean it's a different concept altogether 
don't you don't use these beats for eight beats. This should be used only for six beat versions. Identify whenever you are trying to play ganjira for a version. First, identify whether that version is a six beat or eight beat. That will come only by listening. So the more you listen to uh, the tabla players playing the versions, you will understand okay, this is a six beat or a or an eight beat. Okay. So more or less ending this.